Hey, welcome back everybody. This is George with you at the Volo Auto Museum. And today I want to invite you on a virtual test drive in an absolutely stunning 1966 Chevrolet Impala. This one has a 327 and a Powerglide Auto, but this thing still definitely has enough guts to get going. Absolutely gorgeous red paint. The vinyl top, I'm not seeing any deformities or anything with it, any rips, tears. It's fitted in there nicely. I love the lines. I love this full body Chevy. I already have the license plate on there, but I'll take it off so we can get a better look at the chrome. The chrome looks great. And as I'm doing this walkthrough, if you just go ahead and click subscribe on the YouTube channel, turn on the notifications so you get updated anytime Jay or myself will do a video on your future dream car that you're going to own. You won't miss out on it. And then go on over to volocars.com when we're done. Uh, check out the 100 or so extra pictures, all the additional specs, and uh, Jay's write-up, and then pricing. Then I would give sales a call pretty quick because this beautiful car, I don't see it lasting that long. So, all right, let's jump in. Door opens with ease. Yeah, the vinyl top even over here looks great. The bench seat is very comfortable. I don't know how new it is. But it just, it looks great. Looking at the dash, I'm not seeing any tears, rips. Everything looks relatively new when it comes to the upholstery. Everything's looking good. Like that, it has your uh, standard dash for the 66 up here, fuel gauge, uh, speedometer, the clock. I do not believe it works, but he has an additional cluster of gauges for your engine temp, oil pressure, battery, and then another tachometer he added on here. Um, and this car actually, you can crank it and crank it and crank it, but you put a little switch down here. So you flick that, it starts right up. Uh, the radio does not work here. Let's see, does he have, an, does he have another one in here? Oh, I'm gonna need the key to get there. So we'll just check that out in the pictures if you go to the website. So I see he has updated speakers in the back. So I'm pretty sure there's another uh, CD player in there. Hear the fan kicking on so the fan works so without further ado let's go take us on the road i work in the shop here and this is the first time that any of us had a chance to take it out on the road so we're going to find out together if it needs alignment or anything um and so i start out just getting used to it kind of going through residential and then later on in the video i'll get on it wow that steering is just super easy and smooth Drive straight, very little play. If I just go like that, I start turning already. And the engine sounds awesome. Speedometer's working. Uh, when I was driving it down to the parking lot, it did have the indication that the engine was cold. Now it's off, so it's doing all right. You see the temperature's at about 160. What a nice, comfortable ride. You have the indicator inside, but you don't have a little or anything like that going on. And I'm not wearing a seatbelt because it does not have the, uh, the male end of it to go into the female end. So that's one of those things that uh, I talked to the salesman about us adding it or what we can do that's a pretty bumpy road and i didn't hear a single single noise coming out of here real solid this isn't as big as uh the el dorado and everything like that so it's not technically a boat to me but it's still a full-size chevy so it's not all bouncy and hard-hitting cars to pass. And these look like new uh, side mirrors too. I'm not seeing any deformities with them at all. Chrome looks great. There is, I noticed, a little bit of scratching on here, but 
nothing that's a big eyesore. marks on this rear view. Okay, we'll get on a little bit. Oh, it still kicks you in the butt. If you need to merge onto a highway or anything, this definitely gets it done. And a smooth ride when you're sitting here. Goes down here just fine. The whole time you get to see this beautiful hood right there, it's just... I don't get that, that feeling in my daily driver, that's for sure. this out and the salesman said he already had a deposit but they uh, sometimes they fall through with financing about this car to learn and then give sales a call. All right, as always, appreciate you.